Good day. Welcome to my NS Fast Radio. My name is Portia Montsabat. Our headlines for today. Decentralized applications are underway. The recoveries campaign keeps growing. And NS Fast and HW CETA sign a memorandum of agreement for unemployed youth. It's been 75 days since the opening of NS Fast centralized applications for the 2017 academic year. And the scheme has issued a public call to students who wish to enroll at universities and TVET colleges next year to make use of the application window period by filling and submitting their applications using different platforms. Students who can access internet facilities are encouraged to apply on the NSFAS website, whereas other students can make use of the manual application process and submit them to NSFAS via post, fax or email. NSFAS spokesperson, Kahisho Mamabol. We are very excited about this new system. It simply means that all NSFAS students won't feel anymore every year trying to apply and trying to prove that they qualify and they apply um, every year. So you apply once and you never have to apply again. The new system allows us as to fully, I mean, to fund the students until they complete their studies. But it also gives us uh, powers to fund the right student at the right time with the right, the right amount. You can imagine that with NESFAS having to deal with this online application, we are able to assess the students ourselves, award them bursaries, and even monitor and see how we can support them throughout the, their years of studies. NSFAS has collected more than 275 million rands in loan repayments since the launch of the recoveries campaign in October last year. 91 million rand of this amount was from debtors who started paying their loans after the start of the campaign. There has also been a consistent number of debtors who have been settling their accounts since November last year. In the month of August alone, NSFAS saw loan collections of more than 30 million rand. The Health and Welfare Sector Education and Training Authority recently signed a memorandum of agreement with NSFAS for a bursary grant for unemployed persons for the 2016-17 financial year. The HWC CEO, Ms. Yvonne Mbane, and the NSFAS Executive Officer, Mr. Msula Dacca, held a meeting this past week for the signing of the agreement. This collaboration will assist in furthering the implementation of the bursary project identified by the HWC and also fulfill the objectives as set out in the Skills Development Act. Thank you for listening to my NSFAS radio program. Catch the next bulletin on Monday at 12. Thank you.